All right, so in this demonstration here, I'm going to be covering the IP routing process of a packet as it's sent across from one PC on one network to another PC on another network. As you can see here, I have two networks that are divided by this router here. We have the 192.168.1 network and we have the 192.168.2 network. I have two PCs set up on this network and I have one PC set up on this network. Okay, I've already, I've already configured the uh, computers with IP addresses. Um, as you can see on the uh, PCs I have the, uh, the gateway address set as the last usable address on the respective network. I have the uh, router's interface address configured as the last IP address. So. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do here, I have I have Packet Tracer set to simulation mode as you can see down here and that's going to allow us to monitor the packet as it crosses the network. But what we're going to go ahead and do is pull up PC0, pull up the command prompt here and we're going to initiate ICMP packet. And we're going to initiate that packet with the destination of this IP address here. So we're going to go ahead and type in ping space 192.168.2.1 and we're going to hit enter and we're going to watch what happens here. Now you can see that the uh, PC generated two packets. And why did it generate two packets? Well, the reason why it generated two packets is because it first initiated the ICMP packet and it initiated an R packet. It can't actually send the ICMP packet until it knows the gateway's MAC address. Because it didn't know, because it didn't have the uh, MAC address listed in the ARP table, and I probably should have shown you that. Um, it has to send out an ARP broadcast packet to retrieve the MAC address. So before it can even before it can even um, send out the ICMP packet. So what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, forward this to the next step here and watch the ARP broadcast packet sent across the network. So switch zero receives the ARP packet, and uh, by design the switch is going to forward the broadcast packet across all ports except the port that it received it on. Okay, now as you can see, PC2 received the packet, but it discards it. The reason for that is because the destination IP address did not match its own IP address. Now, on the other side over here, this router also received the broadcast packet. And because the uh, the destination MAC address, which is the broadcast address, did match, as well as the destination IP address matched. Take a look at the uh, packet itself. The destination MAC address is the broadcast address of all Fs. Okay, and the destination IP address is that of its own interface address. So because it matched, it's going to go ahead and process that packet and send back an ARP reply. So if we go ahead and go to the next step here. It's sending back the ARP reply to PC0. PC0 receives the packet. Now that it received the packet, if we take a look at Now that it received the packet, it can go ahead and send the ICMP packet. So if we go to the next step here, okay, the packet's across the wire. Switch zero receives the packet. Switch zero forwards the, the packet to router zero. Router zero will receive the packet, and we take a look at the uh, packet details here. Take a look at the uh, destination MAC address. See the destination MAC address is that of its own. So when PC0 encapsulated the packet, it's at the destination MAC address of the router. Okay, that allows the router to process the packet at layer two, and it sets the destination IP address to that of PC1. So when the router receives the packet, it's going to look at its R its routing table. 
if we take just take a quick glance at the writing table it's gonna see that it has that it has um, a route to that that IP addresses network which is a connected interface on fast Ethernet 01 so it's going to go ahead and re-encapsulate the packet in a new frame. It's going to change the source and destination MAC address. The source address will be that of the router's MAC address, if we take a look here. And the destination MAC address will be that of PC1. Let's, let's take a quick look at the packet here so you can see it. So you can see here the destination MAC address is that of the PC1. And the source MAC address is that of its the routers. The IP destination, the source and destination IP address will remain the same. So the source IP address will still be that of um, PC1, uh, PC0, and the destination IP address will be that of PC1. So we go off to the next step here. PC1 will receive the packet. It's going to see that the uh, um, destination MAC and IP address match and it will then send an um, ICMP reply and the process starts all over again. Um, so that's pretty much a, a very general overview of uh, IP writing process of a packet um, with no, this is just a basic setup, no VLAN configuration. Um, so that's basically it. Um, hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for watching.